What's up everyone, Lion Roar here, and we have a brand new legendary hero in the Three Kingdoms portal, and he's looking pretty spicy. It is Shang Zhan Jun, and of course I'm gonna break him down and give him a grade. But first, be sure to submit your entry for the Lion Roar contest before time runs out on April 29th, 2023. That's right, I'm going to be a legendary hero in Gemstone Legends and you pick the skills. So be sure to watch the video in the description of this video for instructions and I've also linked the game in case you haven't started playing yet because of course you need to download the game in order to be able to submit a contest entry. But the grand prize winner is going to get the legendary Lion Roar hero for free along with a bunch of golden homes and gems and I'm gonna pick from the top 10 but that top 10 is also going to get golden tomes and gems so be sure to submit your entry before time runs out good luck all right let's jump on over into empires and puzzles to take a look at Zhang Shan Jun who is a five star purple hero I do have the max power preview on right now um, he is of the Paladin class, which in my opinion is one of the better classes because it makes the heroes a lot tougher, especially if you're going to consider putting a hero on defense like I think you should with this one. Okay, uh, the family of course is the Journey family, bonus for one, two, or three heroes, um, and this is a 50% chance to increase the duration of each status effect that it casts by this hero for one, two, or three turns. And I will tell you what, if you can get that synergy on this one in particular, look out, because there is a very strong status on this that we're gonna get to. And uh, Zhang has left the building. This keeps happening, I'm not sure. <laughs> the heroes keep leaving on me. Uh, this is several videos in a row now. But let's take a look at the basic stats. So of course, this is max power preview on, it's gonna depend on what path you take as far as talents go, but 993 attack, 1215 defense, and 2017 HP. So this is a tough hero. Let's turn that max power preview off. You get 735 attack, 877 defense as a base stat is very strong, it's very nice. And then 1532 likewise, great, great HP. So this guy is built to last with that Paladin class and the high defense and HP stats. Fury of the Mountain Lord is the special, reduces max health of the target and nearby enemies by 800 over four turns. Uh, so if you've watched my videos before, you know how I feel about target and nearby heroes. You often don't actually get to hit those three. So this is tough, especially because if you're going to put the hero on defense, um, you don't often get to pick who he's going to go after. Now, I think the special on Shanjun, Zhang Shanjun, is very strong. So it's almost like this particular way of making sure it's fair is okay. I'm going to get to that. Um, but uh, the first big effect it does, and probably one of the most noticeable, is reducing the health, and it is over four turns. I don't, I don't like how slow it is, but it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It just means that you're going to have to build uh, a team around Zhang that is going to have a lot of survivability and basically just slowly constrict the opponent until they're dead, and he's going to contribute to that with this particular special. The caster nearby allies regenerate 800 boosted health over four turns. Boosted health can exceed max HP. We know that's a strong ability. Um, and when you get that uh, 800 reduced health of the enemies and the increased health of your own allies, um, that's a big swing in health overall. It's actually going to be bigger than it looks on the card. Like it's going to, you're going to feel it in matches, I think, especially because uh, Zhang is an average speed hero that you can reduce to three matches, um, you know, of course, with a mana uh, troop on him um, that's leveled appropriately. Uh, let's take a look at the last bullet point here, or the, the last two, I should say. The target nearby enemies get negative 24% mana generation for four turns, and the caster nearby allies get plus 24% mana generation for four turns. The reason I wanted to share them both together is, again, you get that big swing. This is a bigger effect than it looks on the card. So when you're slowing your opponent down and you're speeding yourself up, that's a big swing. I mean, it's like a 48% swing if you're just going to like add them. You know what I mean? <laughs> when, for both of these. That's a big swing and that's going to matter in a lot of cases. Now, overall, looking at this, 
Zhang is screaming tank to me. Like, he wants to be at the tank position. And there's already so many purple tanks out there that are absolutely amazing. It's going to be hard for him to fit in. But I definitely think for all the newer players that have come into the game, um, this is a great hero to go after if you need a strong purple tank. Um, and I think that's going to be his primary position. But I also think... He's a little more versatile than just being a tank. Some heroes are made to be only tank heroes. He could also reasonably be a flank hero, I think, especially because of his speed. Um, and so, you know, he can he can also speed up the tank and a wing hero on defense, depending on how you set it up, too, because, of course, it's different in raid as compared to uh, in wars and things like that. Um, but uh, on defense is where I think he's going to shine the most. Uh, I also think he's useful on offense, but I think you have to be a little more particular about how you're going to use him and when and why and stuff like that. Because reducing the mana of your opponent when you're attacking them and increasing your own mana doesn't seem to have as big of an effect when you're on offense as when you're on defense. Why? The numbers are the same, right? It's not like the numbers change, but it's just that... Uh, when a defense is getting hit with tiles, they, they tend to charge faster anyway. You can slow them down, but they tend to like still seem to go off faster because the amount of tiles that hit them on defense. Whereas on offense, you got to be making your matches. And if um, you're not able to, like, you know, a lot of times speeding up the mana uh, might reduce a tile or so here and there. Um, and sometimes it doesn't actually reduce the number of matches that you have to make anyway. So this effect is just better on defense than on offense. I still think he's going to be useful on offense. I think I just think he's going to shine on defense. Um, so uh, I, I think he's going to be underrated personally. I think people are going to look at the skill and with all the overpowered heroes that have come out in the past. And, you know, there's shades of these abilities and other heroes too, of course. Um, so I think people are going to look at it and be like, oh, that's a good hero, but then kind of overlook just the wild swing in both the uh, increased health of your allies and reduced health of your opponents and the increased mana of your allies and the reduced mana of your opponents. That's big. Um, but I don't think you can use him against Titans. I don't think you're really going to take him into events. Um, I think he's going to be really useful in tournaments, wars, raids. Um, and, and I think he's powerful. I think people who get him are going to be really happy. I don't think he's overpowered. Um, I, I think there are almost no heroes, if any, in the game that are worth chasing, just my opinion, because they can always come out with a new one uh, that just um, basically makes the one you're chasing obsolete. Um, but he's awesome. Um, I think he's good. I'm going to give him a, a grade of an A-, minus uh, because I think when he's strong, he's really, really, really strong. But I can't give him an A because he can't be used everywhere. I mean, you can use him everywhere if you want to, but... Um, He's not strong everywhere. I'll just put it that way. But let me know what you think. This is speculation because I certainly don't have him and test him out. Have you got him? Have you tested him out? I want to know in the comments what you think. If you enjoy videos like this, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. And remember to submit your contest entry for the Lion Roar Legendary Hero. And I will catch you in the next one.